Sit tight, because I'm going to tell you what's coming to games with gold in October, and also what's arriving at Game Pass and what's leaving in the month of October for Game Pass. Halloween is steadily approaching. Horrors in the air. Next level taken here. Games with Gold 2020, October. You're getting Slayaway Camp Butcher's Cut. Available October 1st to the 31st on Xbox One. It's from the same people that did Friday the 13th Killer Puzzle, which is a great puzzle game. This is one of their first games. It's from the team members of PopCap. Former team members, I should say. And it's hundreds of puzzles. Looks like an interesting title. Check it out if you haven't played Killer Puzzle. Made a Scare. It's going to be available October 16th to November 15th on Xbox One. It's a horror title. Think of it like Resident Evil without weapons. It looks interesting. It's got mixed reviews, although most of the reviews on Steam seem positive for this title. I'm going to be checking this one out shortly. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, a classic title available October 1st to the 15th on Xbox One and Xbox 360. And the other backwards compatible title this month is going to be Costume Quest, which will be available on 360 and Xbox One. That will be available October the 16th to the 31st, just in time for Halloween. Classic game from Double Fine. That huge 7 billion plus deal that Microsoft worked out the other day is already coming to fruition because we're getting Doom Eternal on Android and console October 1st on Game Pass. One of the best shooters of 2020 now on Game Pass. Drake Hollow is coming to PC on Game Pass October the 1st. It's a co-op action village building game. Now available October the 8th, Brutal Legend. Again, another double fine game. It's going to be available on console. It's a classic uh, with the voice of Jack Black. If you haven't played this at some point in time on the PS3 or 360, you owe it to yourself to play this cult classic action comedy, Brutal Legend. It'll be available on Game Pass again October the 8th. Also available October the 8th on Game Pass, Forza Motorsport 7. Now, Forza Horizon 3 has been de delisted, unfortunately, but you'll be able to play Forza Motorsport 7 on Android console and PC October the 8th. One of the most beautiful, authentic racing titles ever made on this planet. you got racing, drifting, drag racers, tuners, creators. You, you can do so much with this game. 700 plus vehicles, beautiful 60 frames per second, 4K resolution. You owe it to yourself to play Forza Motorsport 7 if you like racing games. The last new arrival, well definitely not the last new arrival because Game Pass is always adding games even in the middle of the month, but right now the last newly announced title that's coming October the 8th, Ickenfell. It's coming to console and PC. It's an ID Xbox game and it's a turn-based tactical RPG. You may want to check that title out when it arrives. Now the unfortunate part of things, the games that are leaving Game Pass as new games arrive, older games leave the service. Leaving October the 15th, Felix the Reaper, it's a console PC title. Also leaving October 15th, Metro 2033, which is also on console and PC. Minute, which is also on console and PC. Saints Row 4, Re-Elected, which is a PC title. And State of Mind, which is on PC. So those five games are leaving Game Pass October the 15th. So what does everybody out there think about the new additions for Games with Gold in October and what's arriving on Game Pass? Are you happy with the new arrivals? No, no, no. Saying goodbye is never easy. But sometimes it's our only choice. Let's do this. The game you love my leave, so play before it goes. And check the app for leaving soon, it's important that you know I had a time to prepare for your last goodbyes Load up your favorite game and play it for the final time Goodbye game, I love you, I love you. I thank you for watching, thank you for all the support Until next time